All right, everybody, with that being said, I wanna add one more thing to what I just said. I wanna tell everyone out there that everything I said was based on manufacturing being a constant. You know, build quality being equal. If you have a really cheap nine millimeter and a really nice 40, well, the nine millimeter will probably wear out faster because it was built worse. But when I'm talking about things being pretty much the same, that's counting on build quality, manufacturing quality, being a constant. So with that being said, I wanna move on here and answer one more question. I had someone send me in a question saying they have three models of a gun where the slides can be interchangeable on the guns. They can swap them. They've kept a very detailed record of how many rounds have been through each gun, what type of ammo, etc. But they were wondering if they change the slides, if they move a slide to another frame, another receiver, which part should the round count go with it? Should it go with the slide or should it go with the receiver? Well, it should always go with the receiver. But here's the thing, if you want to really be consistent in your count and really take care of it to where you know what kind of maintenance to do, when you do swap slides, they're swappable. Don't swap the internal parts, the springs, the uh, uh, barrel, the guide rod. Take those out of the slide first, put those in the other slide. Those should stay with the frame. At least the spring should stay with the frame. The barrel is not as important because it's hard to shoot out a barrel and the guide rod's not as important. But if you can swap those, just keep the whole thing as a package with the frame. Uh, the slides should go independently. Now I'm not gonna change out firing pins or anything like that. Just keep that in mind that you may have to change firing pins sometimes. Those are something you should just periodically when you're cleaning, check them, make sure they're in good shape, they're easy to get to. So do that on all of them. You can switch those out also when you change the slides if you really wanna be a stickler. But I would just make sure to change out the barrel, the guide rod and the spring, the main recoil spring with the receivers, the frames, and let the slides go independently. You can also change all the internals if you want to, like I said, but you don't have to. And that way, you're keeping a pretty good count on how many rounds have been through what gun. Because slides are just a big piece of steel. All the things that matter most are the intricate parts of the trigger, the hammer, and the springs, like recoil springs, hammer springs, etc. So if you keep most of those things together, that's where your count really matters.